secret superpower. A force that not only helps them solve their business challenges, but actually brings their dreams to life. So today, we are going to talk about this secret power. This can be a game changer, not only for entrepreneurs, but for entire global economies. As a child, I was always intrigued by technology. And uh, from repairing VCRs for my neighbors to setting up my technology companies, my world always revolved around technology. So when I got my first IBM PC in 1986, I felt like Alice in Wonderland. And almost all my time, 24 hours, was not enough. There was so much you could do with a computer. And soon I was called to the principal office for falling grades. Principal sir was sitting here. With my technology skills, I grew a very small family Agarbatti manufacturing business into a multi-million dollar export house supplying to the best retail markets around the world. However, this journey was not easy. I was very bored with this Agarbatti business and soon went into technology and founded my first technology company that sets up IT infrastructure for big corporates and government. But again, like I said, this journey was not easy. I had a very tough time. Though I was good at technology, I was not really very good at finance. I was not good at marketing, at sales. And soon, I lost almost the entire 5 crore rupees investment that I had made. And this got me thinking that there has to be a better way. I tried experimenting with technology available at that time, but unfortunately, the technology that was available at that time was completely out of my reach. It was made for very big companies, and it was extremely complicated to set up. This got me thinking, and I started experimenting with open source, and I started developing the tools I needed to solve my problems, and I was really surprised. Not only did I start helping myself, I even started helping a couple of my friends, and they got some really amazing results. So much so that I was called to several industry associations to give a talk on this topic and to try to help them. And this got me thinking. So when we look at the international economy and we talk about the MNCs, you will find that Indians are at the helm of most of the big MNCs. But unfortunately, we find that Indian entrepreneurs are still struggling. They are still dealing with day-to-day -day problems, with firefighting, and unfortunately, this has restricted their growth. There are only nine Indian companies in the global Fortune 500s. And that led me to my mission. And I then created a mission to why not help these entrepreneurs use cutting-edge technology and help them become global industry leaders and make India proud. And my vision is to get at least 100 Indian companies in the Fortune 500 in the next 15 years. Today, I'm going to challenge conventional wisdom and introduce you to an easy yet powerful solution that can completely turn around the world of business. Once again, I feel like Alice in Wonderland, but the rabbit hole that we are going to explore today is the exciting world of artificial intelligence. So AI is not new. Big companies have been using artificial intelligence since a long time to solve their business problems. Let me give you a very interesting example. UPS, an American company, used AI to optimize the routes for its trucks. Way back in the early 2000s, they took all the GPS data and they fed it into AI and asked AI the question, can you improve it? And you know what? AI came back and told them that why don't you stop turning left? Let us eliminate all the routes where the trucks have to turn left because when they turn left, they have to wait at the red light. And you know what, the, what happened? The amazing results that UPS got. Not only were they able to save 10 million gallons of fuel in a year, they also reduced the CO2 emissions by 20,000 metric tons. 
So AI is not new. What's new? So what's new with AI is from a special purpose technology that could only be used by big corporations, it has become a GPT. That is a general purpose technology. So there have been many GPTs in the past. We know that even the steam engine was a GPT. When the steam engine was introduced, the production of yarn in UK went up from 13 million pounds to 1 billion pounds in a year. Similarly, there were other GPTs. Even electricity was a GPT. Your telephone was a GPT. Automobiles were a GPT. Even the PC was a GPT. Even the mobile phone that you have in your pocket, it is also an example of how we transition from a special purpose technology to a GPT. When the mobile phones were introduced in India, only very few people could afford them. But with the telecom revolution, almost everyone, including rickshaw pullers, taxi drivers, everyone has a mobile phone, and it had an amazing impact on our economy. In the same way, eGPT has the power to change the world. And not only that, the speed at which these new GPTs are emerging is increasing rapidly. So our world is changing faster. Earlier, the world was changing every 100 years. Then it became every 10 years. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is changing faster every two years. AI as a GPT is as incredibly powerful. It gives superpowers not only to the technical elite, but to common people like you and me, whether it is students, whether it is entrepreneurs. All of us can use its power, and it is also helping us revolutionize the world of business. So today, I'd like to give you a practical demo, a practical example of how anyone using this power can go from just an idea to a real business in just four steps. So what are these four steps? In the first step, we will use AI to generate a business idea, then create a business model, develop the processes to run the business, and then finally, we will use AI to make all the critical decisions. So let's move to step number one. In this example, what we have done here is that we have asked AI a question to help us find a nice idea for a product based on manufacturing of wood targeting the Gen Z. And it came up with many ideas. And out of those ideas, I selected this idea that why not create some smart technology integrated furniture that includes Bluetooth speakers, ambient lights, maybe some displays. It would be nice, right? And once I have got the idea, I next I have asked it to create a business model. Business models are very, very important. All the big startups you know about, they always continuously experiment with a business model first on paper to make sure that when you go out into the real world, you don't end up losing lakhs of rupees. So I evaluated multiple business models and then with help of AI, we finalized one business model that would be perfect for our situation. Once I have the business model in place, now is the time to actually create processes. This is where we actually tell our people how exactly they have to run the business so that you don't end up making costly mistakes. As a business owner, you may be expert in one domain, maybe in two domains or in three domains. You cannot be expected to be an expert in each and everything. So what we have done here, that AI has come in as an expert advisor. And in all the areas where you are lacking, it will help you. So in this example, we ask AI to help us create a process to hire my people. Moving forward, we can also ask AI to create flowcharts and diagrams that can be used to explain this in a better way to my team members. Let me show you some more interesting cases how AI can help you in your business. So the first thing a startup needs is a nice website. And you know, creating a website is not easy at all. So what we have done here we have just put in our startup idea into a website called Mixo.io and in a matter of just two minutes, we have an amazing website. Isn't this amazing? So something that would have actually taken you a couple of weeks is now done in a couple of minutes. 
Similarly, when I'm designing my products, this is another AI dream studio. I ask it to create a nice furniture, a bed that is integrated with technology, and you can see it's created an amazing idea for a bed. And this is not the only one. You can experiment with hundreds of such ideas. Then again, we used another AI to help us market our products. So I used the AI from Microsoft. This is designer.microsoft.com. And we just told it to create a nice brochure inviting people to our store. And it created an amazing brochure. Something that would have required me to spend huge amounts of time and money is done in a couple of minutes. Another example of AI as a universal translator. So not only can you ask AI to create text, to create images. Now it is creating pictures for your videos for you. So we have created here a video for Instagram, for YouTube Shorts that can be used. And this took me, this entire exercise took me just five minutes. I would have been spending more than 50,000 rupees and at least 15 days to do this. Isn't this amazing? And now coming to the step number four. So once you're set up with your business, now comes the time to take decisions that are required to be done on an everyday basis. And businesses, they generate a lot of data. And understanding that data and making decisions takes time. And here, AI comes to the rescue. In this example, I uploaded a tender. This tender has got more than 100 pages into an AI called Claude. And in a matter of just two minutes, it generated a summary that I could read in just five minutes. Something that would have taken me at least four hours to understand, now I can understand in just five minutes. Isn't this amazing? So, to summarize, so these are the four steps I use very, very simply to generate an idea, create my business model, then set up my processes and take decisions. But along with these benefits, we also need to consider the dangers of AI. So AI is a powerful tool, like a long lever, that can be used to lift heavy loads. And more powerful the tool, more potential of it getting misused. So the same way, you know, like businesses are going to be using AI, I'm sure that criminal minds will also be using AI to conduct much bigger frauds and more organized, you know, more organized hacking attempts. So, so we are all worried. But at the same time, I'm not worried so much about AI but more about the minds that will be putting this AI to use. So how can we protect ourselves? How can we make sure that we don't end up on the other end of the bargain? So what I feel is that AI learns everything from humans. And if we don't want AI to harm us, then we have to teach it to become more humane. And to do that, what can we do? So we have to build an amazing culture, a solid culture, where we are teaching people to become more human, to eliminate greed, and to instill integrity. So, in conclusion, how will AI help us shape the future of business? So, in this new era, practically AI is doing just like magic. You can go from an idea to a business. It is making a dream into a reality. However, AI is not a creator. It is only an amplifier. So human creativity comes first. AI can only amplify what you give it to begin with. Ambitious thinkers, when start using this powerful AI, there is no limit to the world-changing businesses that they will create. So what is our job? How can we help this process? So our job as an educator is to help creators everywhere use this technology and to realize the potential of this technology. We have to teach them to go deeper into what makes us human. Thank you so much.